Hello everybody and welcome to Pixelcraft. Today I'm going to be answering one of the many unanswered questions of the Battlefield 4 recent community as of late, and that is the SUAV and generally just the China Rising update. Now, I'm playing support and first I'm going to be showing off this one. So what this is, you place it down and pretty much you fly it around and aim it at the ground, blow up, or alternatively, left click and you also blow it up as you can see off in the distance there that mushroom-esque cloud uh, this one does take ages to reload and I'm sorry I've forgotten its name but it is up on the screen now and but at the end of this video I'll tell you how to access all of this and pretty much how to check out some of the some of the new stuff without actually having to get the game so it's the UCAV and it is cool it's very interesting it, uh, small reconnaissance unmanned combat aerial vehicle armed with an explosive warhead that allows the support class to use it as guided ammunition or munitions. Um, so down here we also have the SUAV, a remote controlled UAV plane allows the recon to serve sur allows the recon to surveillance and laser designate enemy vehicles across the combat zone. I don't think that's correct, but oh well. So um first thing you'll notice when you get on here is you get a paper plane pretty much as recon not gonna lie you get a paper plane so let's just uh... Yeah, chuck it out there and as you can see this is the view you get if i fly back you'll notice that you can lock onto vehicles so you can do that to enemy vehicles and pretty much the coolest thing ever you get third person view of and also if you fly really close to your own person you hit them and it blows up. So those are the two uh, new weapons. I'm going to move on and just show you quickly some of the sniper rifle, the new sniper rifle. And uh, all of these these things down here, as you can see, the L96A1 is the new thing for um, recon. The RPK-74M is for support. The MTAR-21 is for engineer. And the L85A2 is for, uh, is for assault. Uh, you also have a PDW, which is the MP7, which is impressively good, which is surprisingly good. I won't go into all those detailed weapons, because if you've played the latest game, you'll know that you can actually unlock them at the moment. All of them bar the L86A2. Unfortunately, it's not showing me. You can't actually check how you unlock them here. However, all these guns are unlockable, and they're pretty much a couple of ribbons and then tasks from each class. So you cannot yet get the UCAV or the SUAV, but you can get the leaked guns from that current game. So uh, it's actually really simple to do, to try out some of these weapons. All you're going to need to do is go into your search bar, um, untick everything in your preferences for a server, make sure you have no ticks down, otherwise it can mess it up if you have ticks on the thing. And then what you want to do is you just search in the search bar, unlocked make sure it's unlocked no caps and hopefully a uh, so many servers should come up however if not I'm gonna link the server that I'm using now to show you um, show you what it is and I'll link that in the description a server link so you should be able to join that one and if not it's down there will be other ones up there and make sure you've got all of them even under the advanced tab because some of these aren't normal game mode and they're hardcore or not the right game mode so you want to make sure you're in the right game mode However, the SUAV seems very good, and I can understand a lot of people are going to be using it, because, and it's pretty much going to replace the MAV, because let's be honest, it's faster, you can spot, and you can laser designate vehicles, so um, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. I think, I hope you've learned something, I hope you can now go out and try some of these weapons, and I will see you all next time.